This video is an overview of how to use the Interi system. Using Interi is simple, but it is important to understand how the system works. Your healthcare professional will train you on how to use the Interi system. Be sure to read the patient guide before use. The tubing is placed in your body during surgery. The exit site is the place where the tubing exits your skin. To protect your exit site, never pull on the tubing and follow your doctor's instructions on how to care for the exit site. Check your exit site and notify your doctor if the exit site appears inflamed, red, or is leaking fluid. The connector is the plastic part at the end of the tubing. There is a gray release button on the connector. When the therapy unit is finished, you will press the gray release button to remove the finished therapy unit from the tubing. The therapy unit supplies suction and collects fluid from the internal surgical site through the tubing. The start button is pressed after you have attached a new therapy unit to the connector. The circular band at the top of the window will show a red stripe when the therapy unit is finished. The fluid window and measurement lines show you how much fluid is in the therapy unit. There is a stem at the bottom. This is where the connector attaches to the therapy unit. Never touch or push on the stem. You should always have a therapy unit attached to you, and you should avoid disconnecting from it except when changing to a new one. It is important to periodically check for fluid flow every four hours while you are awake. You do that by reading and recording the fluid level in the therapy unit. Start by removing the therapy unit from the carrying case. Hold the therapy unit upright. You may see some air as well as fluid in the fluid window. Locate the top of the fluid level. In this example, there is no air in the therapy unit and the fluid level is 50 mLs. In this example, there is a small amount of air, which is normal, and the fluid level is 30 mLs. Record the amount of fluid, as well as the date and time, in your journal. If the fluid level is not higher than the last recording, fluid might not be flowing. Complete the following steps to check fluid flow. Check the therapy unit to determine if it is finished. To check the therapy unit, remove it from the carrying case. The therapy unit is not finished if the red stripe is visible in the fluid window. The therapy unit is finished when the red stripe is at the top of the window in the circular band. When the therapy unit is finished, it must be immediately changed to a new one. At bedtime, if the red stripe is near the top of the fluid window, change the therapy unit before going to bed. Changing the therapy unit is easy, just a few simple steps. First, wash your hands thoroughly. Take the new therapy unit out of the box. Remove the full therapy unit by pressing the gray release button on the connector. Always hold the connector upright when disconnecting from the therapy unit. Do not let the tubing and the connector dangle because small amounts of fluid can drip out. Attach the new therapy unit by pushing the connector onto the stem until you hear a click. Remember, do not touch or push on the stem. Verify a secure connection by slightly tugging on the connector. Activate the therapy unit by pressing the start button. You should hear a click. Secure the therapy unit in the carrying case with the Velcro strap and wear the carrying case securely. Make sure the tubing is not pinched. Record the fluid level from the full therapy unit in your journal. Then, write down the date and time you started the new one. You may not see a rapid fluid flow from your body, and fluid flow may stop for periods of time and then start again. If at any point you are concerned that fluid is not flowing or the therapy unit is not working, verify four things. That the tubing is not kinked or pinched. That the start button is pushed and be sure the therapy unit is not finished. If all else fails, there may be a clot blocking the flow. See the patient guide for instructions or watch the video on managing clots. Wait one hour and recheck to verify fluid flow. 
fluid may flow slowly, but you should see the fluid level increase in the therapy unit. If you are still concerned, contact your doctor. Be sure to review the warnings and cautions in the patient guide. Thank you.